Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Chris Derrick here, and I'm here with another Sabres recap. Sabres lose 4-1 to one to the New York Islanders in their new arena, US, UBS arena. Excuse me, I'm try, still trying to learn that. Um, from how the Islanders have started at the UBS arena, it hasn't been that great. And all of a sudden now Buffalo comes in in their first game there, and they score four goals and pretty much outplaying us and us losing four to one. Sabres hockey. You know, only only Buffalo can make a team look so great when they're doing so poorly. But anyways, guys, um, let me get to let me get into this. Um, I've been a little bit of sidetracked with the Buffalo Bills season, so it's been kind of tough. Um. Buffalo actually outshot uh, the Islanders 37 to 32, and but once again uh, the biggest faults in the hits department and the face-offs department uh, killing us completely, being outperformed in both departments by the Islanders in that game. Um, Matthew Barzell he got the first goal of the game, and Kyle Oposo tied it up later on in the first. Second period comes around and Bellows and Anders Lee make it th end up making it three to one at the end of the second, and then the th final goal was by uh, Dobson or Dobson, I ever pronounce his name. It's the Islanders. I'm not in too serious with the Islanders, so. Um, but anyways, it was another tough night for Malcolm Subban. You know. He tries to put on a good performance for us, you know, when he's between the pipes, and it's a sad thing to say that, you know, it's just not working out for him. And we still have yet to get a W with him between the pipes. Came close in that game against Pittsburgh, but unfortunately, the, you know, it's just sad that we just cannot perform well when our goaltenders do. It's just a sad thing. Uh, not really much to take away from this game because of the fact that, unfortunately, it was so boring to me that I ended up falling asleep during gameplay. So, yeah, shame on me. Um, plus, with the football season coming to a close and the playoffs coming up, things are kind of tight right now with the Buffalo Bills, so I've been kind of concentrating on that. And hopefully the the results that we want at the end of the year, once again them being AFC East champions, uh, hopefully it you know it's it's still the possibility. And if you guys are wondering why the focus is a little different or why it looks the camera work looks a little weird compared to my other videos, it's because I'm trying a new camera, you guys. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, it may not look so great, and. I'm trying to concentrate, you know, looking right at you guys here at the lens instead of looking at myself here on the side view, but hopefully you guys can see me very well and you guys can hear me pretty good. But other than that, we got Boston up next. The Boston Bruins. Um... Pretty sure one of my friends is going to be paying attention very closely to that game. Also because her new fa favorite guy is Linus Allmark. I heard, I heard some talks and rumors about Tuka Rask possibly resigning and coming back. But it's kind of a little late in the year. Either I'm wondering why the heck he took so long. Again, I'm looking a little way. Focus on the camera here. Um... Hopefully, you know, Buffalo can play, a, you know, a good game against these guys. Um, Alex Tuck against the Islanders. He, it looked like he wanted to play offensively, but defensively, I felt like he was not all there. So it wasn't in focus. And... It, it, it's just dragging on and on right now this season. 
from players coming in and out of COVID, the COVID protocol. Um, right now, as it stands, we've had four games that have been postponed due to this whole COVID situation. Basically, um, there's been limitations on teams coming in and out of Canada and basically a lot of things being rescheduled. And the fact that NHL players right now are not going to be participating in the net in the Olympics, I'm pretty sure that wide open spot in February, I'm pretty sure is going to be used up and put to good use maybe to reschedule some of these games, hopefully. Um, but as it stands right now, we're back on a three game losing skid. So let's just hope that get it together here in this game against Boston, make an impression. Hopefully they can turn around with this game. Boston's always competitive and they're always tough. Especially with that damn Brad Marchand. David Pasternak. Patrice Bergeron. And that damn Taylor Hall. Yeah. I'm still... I'm still, you know, edgy when it comes to Taylor Hall. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Click a like if you liked the video. Click subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let everybody know. I'm still here. I'm making videos. And I hope I can get better with this because, especially with this damn... <laughs> I'm looking away again. I don't know. I guess maybe I'm just in love with myself. Blech. But, the other day, guys, take care. Go Sabres. Let's go Buffalo. Yeah, especially you Bills. And I'm praying to God this season turns around. Or something. I know I'm not expecting playoffs with the, with the Sabres, but hopefully we can turn it around.